Hi there, uh, my name's Drowlaw44, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about farming uh, the mission or submission, the Matazu of the Spear, uh, that good uh, Maeda Toshiel or whatever his name is. Now, um, a couple of things really that I just wanted to uh, highlight. Um, one is, is, of course, if you want rare drops, um, and that would be um, his rare sort of like, uh, or very rare uh, skill or mystic art that he gives for the spear. Uh, or smithing texts uh, for various uh, pieces and that would be like the sword, the Odenta uh, Mitsuyo, I believe that's pronounced, and the Mataza Long Spear and the Mataza Armor. Um, obviously you want to boost everything you can to kind of like make farming him just a little bit more possible. Now something I'm doing in the background there is, is I'm just changing it up and putting um, the Luckbringer uh, Talisman on. Um, if you have also done uh, the Nine Symbols Dojo mission, there'll be something there that you can do, which I'll go on to in a minute. Uh, but as, I, as you can see, I've set it just to one, uh, left all the other things that I wanted. Um, just something to, to boost luck. Just that little bit more. Anything you can do to boost luck, um, I would definitely recommend it for these kind of things, because farming is something where, unfortunately, you just got to do it over and over again, and just hope for a lucky drop, really. Um, and it's always one of those things. So the next one, as I said, is going to the Omnio Magic side. Now, if you've done uh, the Nine Symbols, which I did do um, a video which I posted, I believe, uh, the other day, um, you can actually have Awakening, which allows you to cast the magic faster. But actually, something I like on this one is, is that you've got the Amplification, uh, which for farming extends the effects of Omnio Magic. Now, obviously, if you can farm really quickly and, and kick his ass in a matter of seconds, absolutely fine. Uh, but if not, then it's one of those things. You can also, uh, the luck, bring a talisman. Now, I've got number two at the moment. It goes up to three. Unfortunately, I forgot about it and I didn't level it up yet, uh, but I will. I would recommend to have it at level three if uh, possible there as well, because again, it's going to boost up your luck. Now, something that, uh, of course, I'm sure a lot of you already know, but you can go uh, to make offering, which I'm sort of just getting to, um, pretty much couldn't for some reason suddenly remember what to do, I don't know why, uh, but as you can see down the bottom, if you've got all the Kadamas for this region, which I haven't completed region 6 yet, so I'm missing a few at the moment, but you can see I've got 2, so that gives me 10%, obviously all 5 will give you 25%, which is a lot, lot better, and that will boost up, um, of course, your chances of a bit of luck um, as well there. Now, something else, again, um, that you can do is boost everything on your gear. Now, as you can see there, I've got item drop rate versus humans on my hand cannon at 6.4%. Always helps. I've got item drop rate as versus humans at 6.4 and item drop rate at 4.4 on my rifle. And then on three armor pieces, I've got item drop rate, uh, one at 4.9 and then the other two at 3.9% as well. These all boost and just help your drop rates. It doesn't matter what you're farming, really. I mean, this is just one example, uh, but at the end of the day, everything you can do to boost it is always going to help, especially if there are particular things that you are after. Now, of course, uh, going into the hut, of course, you can actually, of course, uh, look at the tea uh, utensils things. Um, as you can see, I've got plus 40 on my luck. Now, if you can ideally get it higher, fantastic. That's always what you want to do. Uh, but, like anything there, this is just some examples. So, although I've got that extra one, you can see that on the, the uh, various tea things, I've just gone for as much luck as I can get. Uh, I'm sure, no doubt, that when I get onto New Game Plus, these will drop even higher, uh, but these are what I have at the moment. And you're getting free passive luck, plus 40, for absolutely nothing, which is really good, um, and it is a bargain at the end of the day. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to move on to the mission. Uh, there are two clips. Uh, one is just where it takes a little longer, just because, like with anything with farming, uh, in an ideal world, it all goes to smoothly, and you beat them really straight away, but sometimes they can be a little bit awkward, but you can still see it exactly how long um, it's going to take. Again, obviously it will depend on level, it'll depend on weapon, what you're using, all those lovely things, but I mean I'm using dual swords at the moment, but it really doesn't matter what you're using. So at the moment then, I mean as per normal, what I'll do is I'll run up and I will use my steel talisman, uh, I will use carnage, I will use power pill, and I will use the luck talisman. I will then go on and use poison as well because that's something I use. Um, and then I will shoot him in the head with the hand cannon there to knock him down. I'll run up to him to do as much damage, stab him, and of course, uh, you know, literally now I've just rinsed off half his health, and you can see that uh, that's what I'm looking to do. 
Now, like with anything there, um, literally he's going to just be a little bit annoying where he's going to dodge, forcing me to heal up. Sometimes that is going to happen. Um, and this is where the thing is with farming, they don't all ideally just die straight away. Uh, but however, as you can see there, literally he's going to do uh, yeah, that big spear attack, which I believe is what the mystic art is, um, from what I know. I couldn't find it, um, and I don't use spear at the moment, but I believe that's what it is, that charge up spear thing. Um, so always a useful attack if you are a spear player. Yeah, that one's a fun one as well. Uh, you have to kind of just dodge, but there you go. Now, in a moment, um, I am of course going to beat him. Uh, I didn't get lucky and get any Mystic Arts or uh, any Smithing Text, but, you know, it's one of those things. Now, as you can see there, I mean, that took about a minute and a half, and probably actually fighting him was less. Um, but it's just like anything there, uh, that's one of those things. Now, the next one then is just showing how much quicker it can be. I mean, it's only 30 seconds, maybe? Um, and I don't uh, use Sloth, or, and I don't use uh, Weakness or anything like that, so you could use them if you really wanted as well. Um, this one, I haven't used Luck Talisman, because this was um, actually one I did uh, the other day. I'm going to do the same thing about, of course, shooting him and just uh, beating him up. And, of course, literally uh, just going for as much damage as I can, as quick as I possibly can as well. Now, you can see there, I've already uh, pretty much beaten his health down. And then I'm just going to back off, just make sure uh, he's going to do, the, of course, the swipes. And there you go, defeated. And that's it. And then you can just rinse and repeat. It is very good for um, gold and Amrita. Actually, you get quite a lot because it's in the sixth region. I imagine you get more, uh, of course, for uh, New Game Plus. Um, and it is good for materials because you can dismantle and you can sell them. So that is it. That's pretty much the farming video for you. I hope it was helpful. If you want to drop a like or a comment below, please do. But otherwise, that is it for me. Take care. Cheers now. Bye.